reference. I don't know what reference you were talking about, so... Now right. I just realized this campaign is composed of, um... Astral Elves, Typhlings, and Dragonborn. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're not like other girls, we're unique. We don't play what? humans. No one plays any, humans. Any, any plasmoids? I was actually thinking of being that? a plasmoid. <laughs> It's, they're kind of cool. It's, but it's the, the slime. Way. It's the slimes that can. Shoot Dude, out you know my rules, right? Stuff. I, I do not know any rules. What that rules? If it's over, if it's overpowered or too weak, then it should be nerfed or buffed appropriately. <laughs> Pseudopods aren't that strong. You can't use weapons with them. You can just interact with objects. No, I wasn't talking about that. And you don't that. Even get like completely different. extra. He knows. Okay, good. Okay, good. Because yeah, pseudopods aren't that strong. <laughs> There's some other stupid things that are strong with plasmoids, but like, not pseudo. <coughs> also, happy Easter for all the Australians here. Well, what about New Zealand? Oh, I, I guess it was New It was Easter oh. here too. Hi, well, Stray. I was about to well. message you to join in, and then I realized you're already here. <laughs> Australia is forever wandering, forever stray from this land. Yeah. Mm. Wait, so, um, you guys are like murderous babies now, right, or something? Or Wait, what the f- going? What? What the fuck? You got reincarnated as children or something? Dude, Dude, I headbutted a guy, no does that what's count? Going on. <laughs> nice. I willed a dragon that can stop time. That sounds useful. That you does sound you useful. Wield a dragon that can stop time. No, yeah, like, it's just it's just like you know how some <laughs> people they have an axe. Some people have a sword. This guy just like has a dragon that he swings around by the tail. <laughs> oh my god, he just twitches. On command, it just straightens out its spine and then like locks it in yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. I just nice. sort of remember. <laughs> I remember. I like, think he doesn't uh, say uh, anything. Uh, he just. It's time to start something in D and D. So Ryan, please mute. And I believe we should, if everyone's ready, is everyone ready? <laughs> yeah. I think so, yeah. Then we should begin with a recap of last session. Last session, Alara's brother went missing as Alara herself was hunted by an unknown force as a sphinx later named Grion Fullseeker leapt in to save her. She was taken to the spirit animals bonded camp where she met one of the council before, an elven red coat named Alderwood. Alderwood performed the Denavard ritual, summoning her a spirit animal after she sees a glimpse of Renandia, where she sees a person called Mithra. They later head off to the Navi training grounds where the Navi are trained. And we also have, and what also happened the last session was in the farming town of Atmel, Christina met a young boy named Stray whilst feeding pigeons and a young halfling boy called Arlart. During this, a bully saves Stray will not summon anything but a bug and gets promptly struck down by Stray. Christina later right. summons a small antler mouse named Fluffy and Arlart summons a fiery owl who he names Flame. The bully Fane fails to summon anything and decides to destroy the rest of the Sioux, a liquid meant to help children summon spirit animals. Christina has a vision of meeting Fluffy for the first time before Stray is taken in on the account of him potentially summoning a spirit animal without the help of the Sioux. So, Naru the Asthma becomes Christina's mentor, whilst the UNT, along with his demonic skull Barian, takes Stray in. They teleport to the training ground straight after. At the island encampment, Lumi summons a frostfire phoenix called Nevia, whilst Tamashi and Shooter summon a time dragon. During this, Tamashi and Shooter. Shooter know, is canon. It's Karada. <laughs> Shooter is canon in the Nandia now. During this, they <laughs> briefly see the red cloak of a Giffa's eye with a, we a water weird spirit animal before they meet their mentors, Senta, a Kalasta, and Foran, an elf. They take a long walk to a boat where they meet a scary but friendly spine devil spirit animal who greets the two before turning into a tattoo on foreign skin. They then take a boat ride to the training grounds. And then the two groups are then split into two dorms based on gender and later have dinner after settling in. They learn the grey slash yellow robes are the new trainees. Green cloaks are the ones who pass the milestone. 
Blue cloaks are fully trained Navis, and the red cloaks single the council of four members. Later on at night, Sray feels a pain in his limbs and wakes to voices outside the door, for he hears soon, tomorrow night. And everyone, you all wake up in the morning. Who's waking up first? Wait, that's a choice? Yeah. Can we roll initiative to wake up first? Sure. Last time I, last time I checked, I have no choice in when I wake up. But your stats do. Yeah. Oh, come on. It's for, it's for My me. stats make me wake up at 1 p.m. <clears throat> yeah, I have an IRL constitution of 2, so I wake up at 2, 2 a.m. I rolled an 11 to wake up. Okay. Do I get advantage because I felt pain in the night? Um, I would say you'd actually get disadvantage. Yeah. On waking wake. up? Because I'm you woke pain? up in the middle of the night, you're more tired. Oh, but yeah. would I have wanted to investigate the thing that woke me up? No, because you're tired. Your body's no, tired. I meant, I meant during the night, or was I like, oh, I'm awake and suspicious things happening and in pain, back to sleep. Yeah. How else would you do with pain? <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Sounds like something I'd do. I don't see any pedal around here, so good luck with that. I would <laughs> say, <laughs> let's start with the male dorm first. I would say Stray and Tamashi, you guys wake up first, despite Stray and you getting woken up in the night. What are you two doing? What are we even supposed to be doing? Wait, what time is it? Um, it is currently... Maybe 8 a.m. You guys remember you got a meeting at 9 a.m. I wake up, Corrala. Yep. Is there any yep. sort of things you're doing? Uh, for your meeting so, at around 9? Uh, yeah. I'm assuming. Well, actually, I'll get dressed. I don't want to show up in my. Uh. This. Yeah. My pajamas. You can get dressed up in your grey cloak, or maybe you put a yellow one on, it's your choice. Yeah, grey. Yeah? Yeah, we're feeling grey. Yeah, grey. And Stray, what are you doing? <clears throat> are you talking to any of the others? As uh, are, are the others awake? Um, they are... They're probably st uh, starting to wake up now, including Arla. Hmm. Ugh. Eh, what fair enough. What a peaceful night. I see you two are already awake. I'm gonna glare at him for a moment. Peaceful night in my ass. <laughs> I'm gonna tell them that something weird happened last night. Wait, really? am I still in pain? Is that a thing? Um, not really. You feel like sort of a sort of like twinge of unease sort of centered around your limbs, but nothing too unusual. Did I hear anything about like last night, or did I just um, know something weird was going on? Soon tomorrow night. You just saw two figures that said soon tomorrow night. You know there's something going on, but not much. Hmm. That thing's fucky. So... But whatever. I guess I'll find it out later. No, please tell me. What uh, uh, What did you hear last night? I don't know. There was, like, there was a little bit of commotion. I think they were having some kind of... Were they having... Were they were they aggressively talking to one another? What exactly was going on? Uh, they were sort of whispering quietly mm. to each other. Two people who are up to no good, potentially causing yeah. trouble in our neighborhood. You, you didn't see the color of their cloaks, that's for sure. Mm. Two people were having some conniptions outside, mm. or in, within the halls. I don't know who they. I didn't see who they were though. That's odd. I thought I heard it. The dinner last night that we weren't supposed to be up at that time. So maybe it's one of the the one of the higher cloaks? Maybe. Mm. Whatever the case, they were up to shenanigans. Okay. Uh, uh well we've got the meeting at nine. To get sorted into our groups. But do we have anything we need to, uh, we want to do before then? I'm probably You're going to feeding us before then. Maybe, or maybe do we have an after meeting? Should we go look? 
<laughs> Let's check it out. Have a check it out. Okay. Uh, uh your name's Pharmacy and Karada, right? Yep. Are uh, you guys gonna come to breakfast with us? Yes. Yeah, and you, you two get up, and you guys can all head out of the room towards the sort of mess hall. And as you swing open the doors, you can see a few green and blue cloaks are, uh, cloaks are already here. There's a couple grey cloaks scattered yeah. around. Oh. Neat. Oh, look. Seems like they've got, like, maybe some fruit. Is that yogurt? And some toast as well? I'm going to go off and get some food. I'm fairly yogurt served and flame and hungry. <laughs> Is Flame hungry? You see the Is he really? Of, uh, sort of looks towards you and goes, Who? And just gives you a curt nod. I am. He knows what he did. I mean, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you saw nothing. Mm -hmm. Well, I bought food. Me too. Same. Yeah, you guys can all get some food. You see Arlad picks up some orange juice and some just some fruit on toast. What are you guys picking up? Toast. Toast? You can probably find some jam or some Vegemite to go on there. <laughs> Vegemite. <laughs> Vegemite is also canon now. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it made as a byproduct of like beer manufacturing anyway? I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it's made. But you see, Arlad sort of picks a fairly clear table. There's nobody sitting at this place yet as he sits down to begin eating. And meanwhile, since we've only got one of the girls here, Lumi, what are you doing as you wake up early I'm... in the morning? Uh, Lumi is going to put all food. Running downstairs to come eat food. Um, you rush down the corridor and right through the doors, and you see some of the people you met last night, Tamashi, Karada, and Stray, are already sitting down at the table eating food. There's now sort of a line developing for people to go get breakfast at. I'll go get my line to go get food. What are you getting for breakfast today, Lumi? Uh, what is there? Again? Um, there's some toast, there's some fruit, yogurt. Um, there's probably some orange juice and some water around as well. That's some fruit. Sounds good. Yeah. You can grab some fruit and we are you sitting down sitting down in the mess hall? Are you going to join the rest or are you going to go sit at another table? Uh I'll sit with everybody else that I met yesterday. Yeah, you go and sit down at the table with your fruit. The rest have already nearly finished all their food. Stray's probably completely licked his plate clean. Yes, he's also pocketed any snackos he can find. Uh, yeah, you probably pocketed some sort of apple or orange. You may add that to your inventory. Either one apple or one orange. Yeah. So, uh, you guys excited? Apparently we're supposed to be um, starting our training today. Oh! I know, me and, I know me and Flame are really excited. Training going to involve? I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe they might teach us how to do some cool stuff together? I'm not really sure, but I think it'll be useful either way. Also, do you guys do you guys think we'll be put in a group together? Yeah, most likely. Maybe. It would be pretty cool. Cool to be in your group yeah. with you guys. <laughs> do you think we'll get mats with anyone else? And he starts looking around at all the different spirit animals nearby. 
knows? Maybe we might fight some of these groups as training. Maybe. Yes. Training. I, I don't think they would do that to us on the first day, though, would they? They dragged us on a boat without, like, we didn't have a day to prepare. We just got our stuff and left. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what these guys are up to. Maybe we'll find that out at the meeting today. But some of these spirit animals look really cool. And he sort of looks over to the rhinoceros over the side, which sort of is peering towards your group as he says this. And he sort of like quickly darts his eyes away from the rhinoceros. There's a rhinoceros? Yeah, there is. Over in the corner, there's a rhinoceros that's sort of just sort of chilling in the corner, watching it spawned and eat. And occasionally it looks over the room. Cute. <laughs> that's it. That's cool. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Also, what do you guys think of your mentors? Alright, I guess. Who did you guys get for your mentors? I can't remember at all. They have to tell us uh, their names, actually. I don't remember either. I don't know, they, uh... Yeah, no, I don't think they told us uh, names. I got some old hmm. guy, I think. Hmm. Didn't didn't you come in with that your auntie last night, Stray? Oh yeah, Snake Dude. I came in with Snake Dude. The guy with the red cloak. I I don't pay that much attention. Not gonna lie. Uh, I'm sure we'll figure out eventually. Anyway, I think we're call, uh, calling some names out now. We should probably pay attention. Okay. And you guys see out the front, it's one of the blue cloaks, actually. They're sort of standing in the front. Could everyone please settle down? So, uh, for today's first meeting, we have, he sort of start, uh, begins reading out a list of names, and during the list of names, he goes, Arad, please come with us. Well, I guess we're not in the group together, but don't worry. Oh. I've, and we'll still be friends. Yeah. Aww. And he and Flame head off to join this other group. One of them... One of the members has a flying snake, which you think is cool, Karada. That is pre that is very cool. <laughs> I will not deny that. That does sound awesome. Yeah. What happened to Mithra? He's gone. Meh. <laughs> what? Uh... Oh well. well. Well, he'll probably come back later. Anyway, you guys are still. You guys have all finished your plates, and you can bring them up to. Uh, to the front to go get them washed and sit back down. What are you guys doing? Are you guys talking about anything? What do we have to talk about? Maybe your lives? You guys mostly don't know each other. I guess that is true. Who are you people? I mean. Yeah, sure, why not? That was the best conversation I had in years. <laughs> what are you in for? Apparently it's illegal to kick a child. But I'm also a child, so I don't know why. Hmm. Kicking children are, is illegal, regardless of the circumstance. Hmm. Fuck. <laughs> Have met children, they definitely deserve to be kicked every now and then. Oh yeah, obviously. Keep them in their place. As you guys are or headbutted. <laughs> As you guys are busy talking, the room's getting emptier and emptier. To there's maybe only fifteen people in the room where, when the blue cloak comes up to the front, and begins reciting out some more names. Korosha, Karada, I... Tamashi. Stray, Lumi, can you please come up to the front and follow me? Please? Okay. Sounds good. <clears throat> um, yeah, and. I assume we all come up to the front. Yeah. And you guys 
head to the front. And this blue cloak drags you guys through like the, uh, the sort of campus and up to a room that's sort of overlooking the training grounds. You can see like the large balcony behind you as you guys all enter the room. And in front of you, you guys see this large sort of table with four, uh, four of the red cloaks sort of sitting around, the council of four. And off to the side, you guys see a couple sort of blue cloaks who are standing at the ready. Uh, Tamashi and Karada, you would recognize your mentor off in the cor uh, corner. Yeah. And that's the elf. Lumi, you would recognize your mentor, Satara Kalasta. The Kalasta. Kalasta. Uh, yeah, the Kalasta. Solari Kalasta. Uh, Shrey, you would see the UNT, one of the Council of Four, the one that was helping you yesterday, is sitting at the main desk in the front. And Korosha, no. you see your mentor. Who is sort of this fairly bulky humanoid called Corin? Corbin. Welcome. First off, can you all please state your names? Who wants to go first? I'm Stray. Stray? Just Stray, no other names, no last name. Nope, orphan. Stray's not even my real name, it's just what people call me. Then what's your real name for reference? I don't know, man, I was orphaned as a baby. <laughs> okay. What about Can't you? I learned to deal with it. Hmm. What about the rest of you? Uh, Korsha, detective, brackets, junior. <laughs> Korsha. <laughs> yes, indeed. You can just call me Lumi. So you're Susan interested Garner, in being a detective? Detective Porsche. Yes. Okay, we shall note that down in for your training. And Excellent. Indeed. And what about the rest of you? You three? The twins and... The one with the ice phoenix? Oh, I, I just said, hey, call me Yumi. Lumi. Lumi? <laughs> How's that spelled? No, 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 no. L U M I, correct? Yes. Good. And what about you two? Karada and Tamsi Dan Naku as my last name. Or our last name. Okay. I presume you guys want to be kept together for all your activities? Um, Tamashi, sure. Karada? Mm -hmm. I presume you two want to be kept together for all your activities? I think my mic cut out for a second, I don't know why. Uh, yeah. Mm. Understood. And now could we get to the names of your spirit animals, please? Korsha, you first. Um, could you come back to me? Or could we come up with a name? Sure. And Lumi? Uh, right now, and all is Anivia. Anivia, quite a fine name. Stray, you of course do not have a spirit animal, and your training yeah. uh, shall be overseen by by myself. Okay. And you see the UNT sort of just looks towards you. Zazat Shashu. You'll be joining the rest for now. And do keep in mind that no. if you feel any changes within your physique, anything strange that's unnormal, please do notify us immediately. Uh, can, can, I, can I clarify, like, do random pains that have since gone away that appeared out of nowhere, is that something I should report? That might have also just been because the bed threw my back out. I don't know. Hmm. 
keep an eye on it if it continues. Let even one of the uh, let even me or any of the blue cloaks or red cloaks around know. Okay. And with the rest of you, Time Machine Karada, what's your spirit animal name? We have not decided. Hmm. Not one bit. Please do that now. We need a name to be able to put down. Hmm. Well. Um, what? Shine. Shine? Yep, shine. Okay, and if you and if you do want to change it on the records at any time, please do let us know. That goes for the rest of you as well. Okay. Uh, and I think that's mostly all. Any medical conditions? I've come to the conclusion that my friend here is called Echo. Echo. A nice name, Corsa. And... Are there any medical conditions that you guys have? I'm lactose intolerant. Lactose intolerant, Stray? Okay. And you see he starts writing it down. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Thank Just feel free to ask any of the chefs. Uh, chefs or the people working out the front. Any of the blue or green clothes when it comes time for dinner, lunch, or breakfast, and they'll help you find something with a uh, little lactose in it. Hey! Or none. Can you guys hear my keyboard? Yes. Bloody hell, I need to get a new one. This is loud. Even I can hear it through my headphones. Okay. Hold on. So, I believe you guys have all met your ma inventors, correct, yesterday? <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. Probably. Yeah. And for now, you guys should be put as a group. Corsa, I believe you are in the male dorm, t uh, male dorm two. Do, um, do keep a watch that you're the only person in there. So keep in mind that your quarters should stay clean. If you need any help, feel Definitely. free to. Uh, to ask any of the cleaners, since you are looking after the full room by yourself as as of now. But unfortunate. I believe it is time um, time for you guys to ask any questions you have of us. I believe you would likely have a lot. This is your time to ask uh, ask the big questions. Any other questions you can direct towards any of the blue cloaks. Uh. So what do we? What is our training all about? Your training is mostly to become a master of your spirit animal. You'll learn okay. how to uh, work in combat as one with them, how to merge forms, and some spell casting as well, as just sort of general survival techniques. And then after that, you guys will be allowed to go on missions and the like. Missions? Yes, yeah. indeed. That'll be uh, the missions will be suitable for what you guys intend to do. So, Mister Detective over here, Corsa, you'll likely be put on more detective-based missions with your group, which I believe yeah. you should find agreeable. I most certainly do. Indubitably. Are we gonna have a murder mystery on our hands with Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> Okay. Any other questions? Tamashi and Karada, I sense you've got a burning question within you. Yes. What's the point of the training? Point of the training is to make sure that everyone who summons a spirit animal has at least some control. Over time, if not trained, spirit animals can occasionally become a bit too wild and nearly uncontrollable. Oh. Their own emotions influence on yours. And he points to you and your time dragon. So if you have a calm spirit animal, you're likely to be calm. But if your spirit animal ends up getting angry, or you do, 
then it's likely the other will respond in kind. The training is to prevent you guys from injuring anyone. Does that make sense? And what will we do once we are trained? Once you're trained, you can either stay here or you may go off on your own. When do we get started? Well, if anyone does not have any more questions. Hmm. Pretty straightforward. I think we're all good, right? Yep. I think uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we're all fine. Now I believe it is time for your mentors to take you on a bit of a tour of the campus. I believe you've only seen the mess hall and your dorms for now. So they will show you around the campus and any places you cannot go are with those where you can. And you see he sort of dismisses the blue cloaks as they start heading back down the stairs. And you guys, you guys can follow them. Okay. And as these guys take you down the stairs, you see Tamashi and Karada. Your mentor sort of walks up to you, the elf. Okay. Mm -hmm. Today, today, as I'm sure, uh, as I'm sure you're probably not aware, but. We'll be focusing more on your, on your connection with your spirit animal, Tamashi, Karada. Okay. Is there anything you wish to ask me about? I know the red cloaks can be intimidating sometimes. Uh, no, I think we're good. Okay. And since your dragon is so big, we'll have to work on you recalling them at some point. Wait, isn't it, isn't it tiny or small? Did you go? Did you go with small? Yeah, I, I went with small. Okay, let me just note that down. Yeah. Since your animal's so small, you should be fine to keep him out at all times. But we won't have to work on recalling today, so we'll focus on some of the other things. If that is fine yeah. for you. Yeah, that's fine. That's right. Your mentor isn't here because he's one of the red cloaks and he's still needed for the meetings. Meetings. Uh, so you see Foran, who just talked to you, that sort of walks up to you. Well, you don't have a spirit animal, correct? Nope. Well then, my name's Foran. Hello, I'm straight. <laughs> Wait, what? Nice to meet you. Did you just? I'll be looking just after you straight? when yeah. you uh, when UNT is when the UNT is busy. And then uh, later on, you'll get assigned your own mentor. Neato. Any questions that you've got for me? Oh, that was pretty straightforward. Okay. And Korsha, you see your mentor, Corvin, the hu uh, sort of bulky human, starts heading up towards you. Korsha? Oh, sorry, yeah. Why, hello there. Hello. Did you have any questions for me? Nope, seems pretty simple. Okay. To be honest. Today, considering your spirit animal, is known uh, known for specifically setting things on light. We'll be focusing more on your control. See, okay. Yeah, it'll be preferable if we you can know how to recall your animal at will. So we'll be more okay. focusing on that rather than some of the more trickier things. Hmm. You wouldn't want to start any more. I can't do these fire. tricky things. No, it's just more the fact fire? that we will be working on them later, but once we get the more important things out of the way. Logical. Mm -hmm. What and, they said was for Tamashi and... And, uh, and, and Lumi? You see Sorry, the 
Satara, uh, Satara just sort of you know, leaps in front of you and goes, Okay, well, you've heard all the rest of their spiels, so do you want me to bore you with mine? Uh, sure, let's hear it. Okay, so Anivia is quite uh, big, but I don't think we should have to worry too much about any issues with the ice. She seems fairly well in control of it. However, we should probably work on letting you know her skills and abilities first. And also getting sort of your link. She'll be very useful for um, scouting towards you. Okay. So we'll mostly focus on that. And you see uh, Farron just goes, oh, as you guys head down the stairs. Okay, we're back at the dorms. And he starts leading you down to the end of the corridor. At the end of this corridor, you can see that uh, room over there. Uh, there, that is, uh, that happens to be the bath, uh, the baths. And he sort of pushes open the door, splits into females and males over here. So there shouldn't be anyone in there, uh, in there at the moment. No one's allowed at the, uh, in there currently at this time of morning, earning on this specific day every year. So we should be fine to go in. And he just sort of heads in one of the sections. Uh, sections. And you guys see sort of like these uh, sort of rock pools. All sort of steaming and hot in here. These are the rock pools. You can get some tow uh, towels from the side. And please place towels over there once you're done with them. But after today, you'll feel, uh, feel free to use them. If, if, um, you just can't use them on the, uh, the 1st of May every year. That's the only time you're not allowed to use the baths. Because Why of the not? tours. Is it the 1st of May at the moment? Yes. Is that when school starts? Yes. Roughly. Anyway, so there are the baths. You guys can find soap. Uh, soaps and stuff in your room that you guys are free, uh, free to use. They'll get topped up quite uh, quite, uh, quite often during the year. So do not worry about running out. And he sort of leads you out of the side and across the bridge. This here is the training area where we will be training a little bit later today. But first, we should head to the rest of the campus. And he sort of continues past the train ground a bit and points out all the different dorms. These are the f um, the green and blue robe, robe dorms uh, dorms over here. You guys are not allowed in there until you're green or blue robes. Unless one of them invites you there themselves. Over here is the storage room. Please stay out over there unless you have... Uh, you're looking for something in particular or some tools to help with your training you'll get some breaks in the evening which is your free time does that make sense everyone mm -hmm. that is after, yep. tra uh, after lunch after your training and then he sort of brings you down past the stream <coughs> over here he brings you into this area there's a library off to the left Feel free to go in there if you guys need any more books. And feel free to swap any of the books you've got in your room. Put the books in there. There's a few other locations in here as well. And he sort of starts pointing them out, explaining it, uh, each of them as he goes along. Until you guys get to a very thick sort of wooden door at the end. This here is where all the records are kept. This room is off limits. To all students. Only red cloaks are allowed in here. But however, they're not normally accessed. By I'm assuming they have all the students' information and all that? Yes. As well as the sort of recipe that, for the sa. The sa? Ah. Yes. Yeah. You remember the liquid that she drank? 
Oh, no. yeah. I don't. Damn, you drank the Russian King. That's pretty interesting. Yep. So, normally only red cloaks are allowed in here. However, they're only allowed in here if they get permission uh, from the highest cloak. Like, you'll likely the name. You'll likely never meet them. Is, is the official title the highest cloak? Oh. No, we just sort of call them that. It's just three kobolds in a cloak. <laughs> <laughs> no, very nice kobolds. There's like a stat block for. Color. There's a stat block for that. Like yeah. two, three kobolds in a trench coat. It's, it's hilarious. It's, it's it's just. It's just we don't really talk about them too much. But normally you'll see a red cloak wearing a sort of purple ribbon over their left hand side, which means they're allowed in there. Or oh. requested to go access a few records. You'll you might you might see the tallest run later today. A uh, day, because you'll be putting all the records inside later. I'm assuming the purple. grand cloak makes all the uh, mm. liquid, right? The Do we cloak? refer to them as the tallest ones? The tallest ones? Yeah. Yes, we just refer to them as that. They wear the purple cloak. And the, they're the only one to do so. So if you see anyone accessing these records, even a red cloak, you go to another red cloak. Immediately. Okay. Okay. So anyway, he sort of leads you guys back out to the training grounds. I believe... I believe we should actually begin a bit of training now, shall we? Let's go! So, he sort of brings you over to the side, over to what you guys see is some sort of obstacle course. We are going to see... We're going to just get a baseline of your abilities today. So... Let's let's go this do this in lots. So let's make actually you see Satara sort of looks up. Maybe we should make this a race. A race. Yes. What do we win? So I think we've gotta have the two twins uh, twins against each other. And what do you win? Hmm Well no. I did manage to get my hands on some chocolate the other day, so maybe the overall winner could get that. Karate is panicking over his more athletic brother with his arms up in the air, hmm. emotionless. But true, Stray, knowing he will win. You're lactose intolerant, correct, Stray? Yep. Maybe I'll pa um, pass you over something different if you win instead. Eat. Maybe, maybe a jar of honey. Quite no <laughs> uh, properties. Take it. That sounds amazing. Okay. Is that? So. Weird uh, uh, who what? Who what? Uh, does everyone want to pick? Pick uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Does everyone want to pick a pick two numbers from a DTM? Make sure you guys always. Actually, everyone pick a single number from a DTM. Tamashi, hey. uh, uh, Tamashi and Karada, pick one each. Okay. I'm gonna just roll two D ten, see what I get. A six and a seven. Okay, please note that down in general. Okay. And the rest of you do the same for your numbers. Uh, pick the unique number, please, Stray. Oh, damn it, I didn't realize Sam had a seven. <laughs> <laughs> Lemmy? I picked nine. Okay. Well, you're supposed to pick two, right? Um, uh, just one. For you. Okay, we're only rolling nine, so I guess it's nine. Uh, unique number, please. Stray's got nine. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Right. Okay, uh, seven then. Uh, Tamasin, that's Tamasin. me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like, okay, three. 
free. No, that, that, someone already took that, sorry. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Ooh. So, Stray, you are up against... Not Stray. Tamashi, you are up against... You look so alike. I know. Tamashi, you're up against Lumi. Yeah. You may use your spirit animal for this. And... Oh, okay. Okay, you guys can use any means you like to sort of slow down your opponent. That includes any sort of powers you have noticed. Mm. Feel free to use anything to your disposal. Are you ready? Anything. Yes, so, yes, yes, yes. Ready? Three? Yes. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. What is that? What is that? <laughs> is that a hold up. That might, that might be me. Yeah, I think that's you. It sounds like a bad Yeah, that was me. I unplugged my headphones, so it decided to unmute everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. You're fine now? You guys, you guys ready? Um. Yes. Okay. So the first obstacle was a pit of mud. Second one is a wall. You've got to go over the uh, wall. Uh, third uh, third one big? is tunnel. Huh? Third one's a tunnel, so there's a pit of mud, a wall, then there's a tunnel, and then there's a straight run to the end. How big is the wall? Um, you guys have been told to go over the the uh, the five um the ten foot one. So pretty high. Okay. All right. Okay. Are you two Wait, ready? Let's see. I want to see something. Wait, who's racing first? Lumi and Tamashi. Hmm. So you. Okay. Are you, are you okay. both on the line? And are you both ready? Yes. Lumi? Yes. You, okay. Ready? Set. Go! Okay, you guys are rushing towards the pit of mud. Is there anything you two are doing to make yourselves go faster? Oh, I want to. Animal. I want to use my floating disc to get past the mud, so I don't touch it. Okay, let me just quickly have a look at the spell. Okay, so you summon up a floating disc and jump straight on it and start floating over the mud. Lumi, are you doing anything? Bye bye. Uh Hmm. I don't think these will help me in this situation. Uh Oh wait, can I just Yeah, I could actually just fly over it. I'll How big is this mud puddle? Um maybe a hundred feet. Long. Oh, a hundred feet? That's quite a distance. Okay. Um. Well, I can fly 60 feet of it, I guess. Yeah, and you sort of... I assume... Okay. Is your character able to naturally fly it, or are you just using Anivia? Are you connecting with Anivia? Ah! Actually, hold on. Maybe it can fly. I could, I could just do that. Better idea. Yeah. So you're just gonna connect with Anivia, or try to? Yes. What would I roll to try? Uh, give me an ar Arcana check at disadvantage since you haven't done this before. Oh shit! Arcana is no, just gonna be valuable. Seven. <laughs> Seven. Uh, with a seven, you attempt to connect with Anivia, but your bond's still a little bit jostled. You're not, it's sort of untested, and you sort of struggle and you can't even seem to merge with her. Come on, Lumi! You can't, if you can't do something to begin with, just give it a try. It's just a baseline for now. You hear your me uh, mentor sort of, uh, sort of yell out some encouraging phrases as you see... Uh, Tarnashi is making his way ahead. Whilst you're deliberating on this. Oh, sorry. What was I deliberating on? 
um, on I connecting with Olivia, you fa unfortunately fail. You're not you're not used to Olivia's bond yet. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, I can just dash a yeah. action across. Um, the mud sort of s slowing you down, but you're kind of behind. Tamashi at this point, as Tamashi, you're coming up towards the wall. What kind of wall is it? Like a rock climbing wall, or is it just like wood just stacked up? Um, it's more of a rock climbing wall. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna climb it. Okay, give me an athletics check, please. What? 22. 22, you begin starting to climb the wall as Lumi, you finally get your way out of the mud and you see Tamashi's already halfway up the wall. What I'm just doing flips and uh, tricks while I'm climbing. <laughs> Flexing. How, uh, how high is this wall? Uh, 10 feet. Oh. Wait, 10 feet? <laughs> okay. Sure, let's uh, climb up the wall for, for fun. Okay, you doing anything to help yourself? Or are you just climbing it straight up? Uh. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> uh, are you going crazy? I'm, I'm gonna use uh, Gust. Okay. Yeah, you get a Nivea to use Gus to sort of bolster you up, and you start catching up to Tamashi, who's busy showing off. And Tamashi, you see this as you see Louis just like quickly ascending up the wall. What are you doing? As you I climb start... up faster. <laughs> and yeah, you're climbing up the wall as fast as you possibly can, and you just barely get to the top with Louis, maybe like. A couple, a couple of feet right behind you. Mm. And how are you, uh, how are you jumping up, uh, down from this area? Are you climbing down or are you jumping down? Mm. I'm going to use my spirit animal to help me uh, safely get down. Okay, let me actually look at your spirit animal strength. What's your spirit animal strength score? It is um plus one. Plus one. What's your weight? Um. I don't know, because I'm a 12-year-old, and yeah. I'm a Dragonborn. I have no idea what my way is supposed to be. Let's have a look. Uh, uh, I've tried. 80, there, uh, 89 pounds. 89 pounds? Damn. Mm. Oh, okay, sad. let me have a look. <laughs> okay, so 11 times 15, 165, and yeah, uh, yeah, this this thing's only, only small though, but it's just sort of like able to sort of partially hover you down. And Lumi, you leap over the very top of the wall, what are you doing? Uh, Lumi's just gonna jump right down off the wall. Jesus Christ. Okay, <laughs> it's 10 feet, so you'll take damage there. But you'll get there faster uh, than Tamashi. Wait, could I have damage? Have my, could I ask Nivea to her, try to help me soften the land? Okay. She will assist you. Uh, Nivea, uh, Nivea needs to make me a sleight of hand check, please. Uh, sleight of hand. Hold on, I actually have to go look. Also, keep in mind there's minuses occasionally before after each of the pluses. It's annoying, but keep that in mind. Um, why is there a plus and a minus? Nine? Yeah, it's a minus. Why does it have a negative nine this light of <laughs> wings? <laughs> but no. Um... I mean, I guess it makes sense for, like, trying to, like... Yeah, basically everyone's got at least two that are, like, in the negatives. 
and two positive ones. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Not for me. I got one negative. There should be two. Uh, whatever, whatever is 16 is minus 9. I got a plus 1 in strength, foot, dex, plus 2 in con, 0 in intelligence and wisdom, and minus 1 in charisma. No one skills. Those are your modifiers. Ah. Oh. Oh, ah. No, there should only be one need to those. And um, Lumi, <laughs> and if he tries to help you soften the blow, and... Uh, it just helps only a tiny bit. You take four, um, four bludgeoning damage. Blood damage. Okay. Yep, and you will happen to be a head of Tarmacy just by a little bit at this point. I want to drop on them. Huh? What's that? I want to drop on them. Drop on them? You're gonna try and pin them to yeah. the ground? No, I just want the cushion my landing. <laughs> okay. Uh, Lumi, give me a dexterity save. And Tamashi, give me an acrobatics check, please. Woo! 17 decks. Oof, I got 11. And Lumi, you sort of dive out of the way as Tamashi, you just fall to the ground. I regret nothing. Yeah, Lumi's still ahead of you at this point. And Lumi, you're coming up to the tunnel. What are you doing? Um, look, uh, what does that spell do? I don't know what that does. Ah, uh, they should be linked. Oh. Uh, n not the ones I have. Wait, what level spells do I have access to at level one? Ah, uh, level one. Okay. So, those won't. Uh, okay. So, how many times can our spirit animal cast their uh, spells? Uh, their spells? Yes. Um, let me just check. Yours? Give me a second. Uh, for you, uh, they're, uh, they're all cantrips. Yes. So you can just keep passing him. Oh. Okay. So I could use, uh, I could have, uh, Nivea cast Gust on Tomashi, right? Yeah. You could. And, uh, push him, attempt to push him five feet away from me. Sure. Uh, make a strength, uh, a strength save, please. Tomashi. Me? Yeah. Uh, 21. Get good. A 21, and yeah, Anivia tries to sort of slow Tamashi down, but Tamashi just powers through it. And he's still right behind you, Lumi. Uh. So, Lumi, what that? are you doing as you come to the tunnel? I'm gonna win um, this. Can I see uh, if there's anything in the tunnel? Can I see the other end? Uh, you can see the other end, and it seems to come up slightly. But you can't see, like, into the t uh, tunnel too far. It's pretty dark. Wait, if the tunnel goes up? Mm-hmm. Does like, it go yeah. back down? Um, it sort of uh, goes up to the top of the hill. A very small Oh. Thing. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Typical obstacle. Uh, the coolest one. I had a plan, but no, that is apparently out of the window. Yay. <laughs> Thanks. So, Lumi, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to run faster. Possible. <laughs> yeah, you sort of have to get onto your knees to crawl into the tunnel. And, Tamashi, you're right behind Lumi. What are you doing? So, does the tunnel just go straight up, or is there, like, a straight, uh, straight pipe and then it goes up? Yeah, straight pipe, then it goes up. Okay, uh, I want to use my ice, ice breath to just skate uh, inside of the tunnel until I reach the slant. Then I'm just going to climb. Sure. You, yeah. 
you use your breath to sort of breathe Frost into it, and it'll start sort of sliding into the tunnel. With you sort Wee. of take a diving leap and slide into the tunnel, and you can feel uh, you sort of rush uh, ram into Lumi at one point, and you two are sort of wrestling to try and get past each other. What are you two doing? Yeah, I think I think it'll be hard to try and crawl with ice on the floor. So yeah. good luck. Well. So, Lumi, Tamashi's just run uh, into you, and he's trying to sc- uh, scram mm, or past you. What are you doing? Good luck. Uh, hmm. So it's my turn, right? Yeah. Ooh, okay. This might actually be useful. Uh, so, uh, can I get Anivia to cast Ray of Frost? Okay. Why? And you get Anivia. Anivia is reduced by 10 feet until the start of your next turn. Yeah, Anivia is like sort of in front of you and you use it to try and slow him down, but he's on ice and he's like not letting up. Uh, I need you both to make and ath- athletics or ac- or acrobatics check, please. Both of you at disadvantage, okay. though. Ugh. Well, I just got a nat 20, but <laughs> my lowest was 15, so... I got a nat 20 as well. Uh... <laughs> Did you With say it? Disadvantage. Uh... Oh, a disadvantage? Okay. Uh, 26 and a 21, then. So who who won that one? 21 and... What did you get huh? for, um, what did you end up getting? 15? Yeah. Yeah, and Lumi's still staying in front of you. That sort of uh, slow from early, the Ray of Frost earlier is really hindering you. As Lumi, you climb out of the tunnel, and it's just a straight stretch to the front, in front. And uh, Tamashi, you're right behind. Both of you make athletics checks, please. Frost uh, wear off now. I don't know how long that lasts. Yeah, it does about wear off. Uh, yeah. Oh! Uh, I got 11. Bruh. An 11? What did you get? Yeah. Uh, that'd be a 19. A 19. <coughs> And Lumi, you rush towards the finish line. Three minutes and thirty eight uh, eight point nine seconds. Nice job, Tamashi. Uh, um, three minutes and fifty uh, nine seconds. Well done, both of you. Very quick thinking. Lumi kind of runs head. around in circles and uh, does a little happy dance. <laughs> Yeah, just uh, just doing the the chicken dance, <laughs> and next up, Korsha and Stray. Oh well. Okay, so we got a race across this. Yeah. Seems simple enough. And Stray. Are you are you both ready? As he gestures you two up to the line. I guess. Absolutely. Roll initiative, both of you. Do 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 do. I'm rolling it. I'm loving it. Mm-hmm. Oh god. <laughs> I got a twenty. I regret these die. I got a twenty-one. <laughs> Yeah, and you guys are like sprinting off at the get go, right side by side, until you come to the pit of mud. And Stray, what are you doing? Um, since I'm a typhling, how close are we to one another? Uh, you guys are like neck and neck. I um, meant like, am I within like what five? Yeah, you'll be within like... five feet. Well, I'm a typhling. Can I like try to a trip him up? I. Oh, Team Link. Yeah. Can I, can I use my tail to like hook, hook his ankle or something? Trip okay, him up in the sure. mud. Okay. Give me a slight, a uh, slight of 
hand, or should we say tail check, please? <laughs> tail well, let's check. see how we go. These dice might get obnoxious. I got a 10 on that. A 10? And Karsha, yeah, give me a dexterity save, please. Natural 20. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> and he tries to trip you up. But you sort of avoid this and like leap right over the pail and straight it takes a little bit of time for you to whip out your tail and try and do this. So Korsha, you just slightly gain the lead. What are you doing? Well, um also since I'm a variant hypling and have wings, I'm gonna fly over the mud pit. <laughs> oh, you son of yeah, nice. and you fly right <laughs> over the mud pit and stray, what are you doing? As you what's the, right the what's the matter? Oh. Wait, how much fly speed does he have? <laughs> Didn't you say it was like 100 meters? Or 100, 100 feet? Yeah. But they would be neck and neck anyway. Okay. Hmm. What can I do? He, he's he's flying away into the distance. Yeah. What he's doing? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Uh, I mean, I want to go. I want to like get, gain as much distance as I can. I don't want him getting too far ahead. But did do what happened? Instantaneous sound. Can I use like mage hand and just smack him in the face with it? Just, like... Sure. Roll to hit, play. Um, roll to hit, please, with an unarmed. Actually, it's with a with your spell DC. This is my spell DC. Your spell to hit. Sorry. And Korsha, give me a uh, give me a uh, dexterity save, please. Oh, my spell to hit is a plus four modifier. Okay. So that would be... roll to hit. What am I rolling? Ten. A ten. Oh. You just gotta be a ten stray. What die? Is it just a d6 that it's, I'm rolling? Or? It's a d20 plus your to hit modifier. Oh, d20. So it's this plus four. Let's do it all Oh, I got a one, so a five. Yeah, and he's like trying to bat you out of the air with May Ten, but Korsu, you're just like, a, a, like completely ignoring this thing. You just keep smashing it. I just spin it. around in my flight and then continue to the wall. And at this point, you say dirty, eh? And Stray, you're what? quite, you're quite far behind as you have to reach through the mud. And Korsu, you you can just fly right over the wall. Stray. Okay. Um. Yeah. You doing anything? Yeah, I'm gonna go into the tunnel. Okay. You rush into you the tunnel. Kind of hear you. And as Stray, you come up to the wall. Well, I guess I'm gonna scramble up that wall. Yeah, you scramble up. Uh, you attempt to scramble up the wall. Give me an athletics check, please. An athletics check. Do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -ba. Oh, okay. 18. 18? You start sort Can of pulling yourself up this... the wall. And eventually Can... you sort of drop down to the other side. And as you come up to the tunnel, you see the entrance is sort of blocked. Entrance blocked? Yeah. It basically looks like a dead end. I cast bullshit on that. And uh, do do do. Can I? What? What's blocking it exactly? Uh, I would, I would say it seems like this sort of wall of stone is blocking it. Well, that's just fucking rude. Okay. Um, can I see the other end of the tunnel or where it's supposed to come out? Yeah. Well, hmm. What can I do here? Is what's his face still in the tunnel? Uh, yeah. You haven't seen him come out yet. 
Wait, how long is this tunnel? Um, it's going to take a lot longer to crawl through, but it's maybe a hundred, hundred feet, very similar to the length of the mud pole. All right, well, I can't do what I was thinking then. Um, can I use an old? Uh, can I can I use an eldritch blast and try to break up this the stone that's blocking it? Maybe target a corner, see if I can like. <laughs> oh, hold it, please. Come through. All right, let's roll my big chonko dice. I got a twelve plus six, so eighteen. An 18. Okay. Roll damage, please. Uh, okay, there we go. Roll that. I got a 1. A 1? <clears throat> you hear, like, a pain yelp as the Eldritch Blast goes right through the illusion into the main tunnel. Wait, it's an illusion? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna run through there. Also, caution you take one damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you rush into the tunnel after Korsha, who you can just barely see, just like sort of rushing through the tunnel himself. Korsha, you break out out of like the, the other entrance, and you can hear Stray now start slowly catching up to you. What are you doing? Hmm? What else is there to do again? Uh, you've, you've still got the run, run to the end. Well, I guess I'll run to the end then. Yeah, you don't even fly, you just run. Well, it doesn't matter, it's the same speed. Yeah, and you get to the other end as Stray, you finally pull yourself out of the tunnel and rush with a sort of panting breath to the end. And 4 minutes, 48 seconds. Hmm. Okay. You wanted to play dirty? We play dirty. <laughs> Yep, so <laughs> 2 minutes 39, and... I say to you, um, Stray. Only way to fight, mate. Hmm? Only way to fight. You fight fair, you lose, because the other guy's gonna pull one on you. Yeah, <laughs> you fly. Thanks. Okay. So, how much time do we have? It's actually nearly already lunchtime, so... We'll just give it to the two in the first place, <laughs> after they... Sort of run one for Karada by himself, unfortunately, since everyone's already been. Hey, at least I don't have to try. <laughs> and he, he passes Korsha uh, some chocolates and passes Tamashi and another chocolate as well. Here you go. And Yay. Let's just quickly get on to something else. Real quick, oh, before let's, lunch. Do I get, did I get multiple chocolates? Ah, <laughs> uh, you, you got one. One, okay. Can I split it in half and give the other half to Trey? Say, sure. yeah, no, that was a bit scummy what I did. I'm also going to okay. share my chocolate with uh, Karala, because why not? Chocolate? I'm gonna share Wait, was it, who, who won it? Again. Was it Lumi or Tarak? Tamashi, I forgot. Oh, uh, uh, I lost. Uh, uh, then it's Lumi. Lumi should have uh, gotten the chocolate. Sorry, I've, I've completely uh, got who won. <laughs> I can't believe you're insulting me. Insulting <laughs> <laughs> me? How dare you, <laughs> bro? I I saw you meet me. I saw you meet me. I know. I'm gonna sh anyway. share some chocolate with my, okay. my spirit animal in the view. Oh well. And actually, yeah, we really don't have time as you hear the bell ring out like twelve times. It's time for lunch, and he's they start her, they start sort of showing you off. You guys go to lunch and meet us back here for your last section of training for today. Okay. Did we level up? Because that was an obstacle obstacle course. I'm assuming we leveled up, all right? No, it's XP. Well, at least got some XP. At least no. got some XP. Not yet. We did an obstacle course. How? Yeah. After lunch, you guys go get some food. Yeah. <laughs> and they. Have, what are you guys doing? Are you guys actually going to lunch, or are you guys going to your room? Lunch. lunch? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll go to lunch. Lumi is hungry after running. Yeah, and you guys all head off to lunch. Uh, today for lunch they seem to have the sort of uh, sort of mixed mixture of uh, roast veggies and what seems to be bacon and these sort of cheese on th- uh, uh, cheese toasties on the side. Ooh. Come on, come get your lunch. And you see one of the lunch ladies sort of looks towards you guys. Oh. You guys looking for a bit of lunch? Uh, yes. Yes. Nothing. I mean, Indeed. Yes. You guys came in a bit late. Late, but fortunately we, uh, we saved plenty, um, plenty for all of you. As he brings out the plates of food and just starts dishing mm-hmm. them out. You can see just sort of tucked around her collar is there's a small little gecko that occasionally Aww. looks Ooh. towards you guys and flicks its tongue out. <laughs> oh, cute! Ooh, yeah, he is cute, isn't he? My little Ty. Well, she's gonna whisper uh, into Stray's ear that was just insulting you. <laughs> <laughs> Not telling anyone, just telling him. <laughs> okay. And she finishes dishing out the rest of the food. Uh, food as you guys can go try and find a table. There's a couple tables available, but not enough seats for all of you guys at a single table. That's all right. What are you guys doing? How are you? Go- uh, what tables are you guys going to? There's like six main tables in here. What table has the most seats? Ah, uh, the most would be one of the middle tables. There's already quite a few people chatting there and there seems to be around two empty seats there's another one over to the uh, to the side that has four four yeah there's one with two and one with four we'll take the two okay yeah oh we'll go to the four strand i'll go Mm. to the four you say yeah and you guys head over to the different tables and you see that at one of the uh, at like the sort of table with, uh, with which had the four empty seats, you can see this green cloak with this wing naga sort of re- uh, thing around his neck, sort of looks up towards you guys. Oh hey, you guys must be new here. Indeed, we are. It's nice to meet yeah. you. Um, feel free to sit down. Cool. Come What's your us? name? Mine's uh, Korsha. Nice to meet you, Korsha. It's Faeum. And he's gonna hand, uh, uh, hands out, hold out, holds out his hand for you to shake. I shake it. He gives you a good hearty shake. Well, so we were already busy discussing a few things about, about some of the things going on around here at the moment. Not sure if you're, you guys are too interested in that. And he looks over to Lumi and Stray. What about you two? Are you guys interested in hearing about some of the going ons around this place? Yeah, sure. Um, yes. That would seem fairly interesting. Very interesting. So, uh, so you see up there, and he sort of points to the sort of upstairs area where you can see four of the red cloaks and quite a few blue cloaks that are busy eating. You know what? I think he sort of whis- he sort of leans in to whisper to you guys. We think that the yuan tea is sort of disaster to sort of acting a little bit strange recently. Really? Yeah. He seems I don't know sort of off like the past few days. I'm not sure if you guys know. Oh. Are you just being judgy because they're a snake? No, 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 of, of course not. But he's, he's just sort of been out of it, you know. You guys can see him talking to uh, another bl- a blue cloak upstairs. But we just think he's sort of been out of it recently. We're not sure what's up. 
really. Well, I listed to Lumian Shay. But I think I might do a bit of investigation around this guy. Yeah. Because I now start eating my lunch. But yeah, other than that, we we have uh, have uh, have been like her hearing a few rumors that apparently we were going to all get like a mixed training session soon. Oh. Apparently, it's going to be a massive swimming race, so it might be good if you guys prepare for that. Swimming race, okay. Yeah, and apparently, those who don't know how to swim are going to teach them beforehand. Uh. But it should be pretty fun. The last event they ha uh, held was a climbing one. That would have been great at that. <laughs> Back when I was a grey cloak, it's pretty fun. You're not allowed to use wings, so. No. God and damn both, it. And both you and your spirit oh, animal you... could have climb up. My spirit animal felt wings. Or oh, my spirit animal can sit on my shoulders, that's not too bad. Yeah, but. <clears throat> the, over, over there is Vayner. And he sort of uh, gestures over there to this person who's got a sort of ocelot with these sort of strange antlers. Who's sort of peering at the rest of you guys? That's Vayner. Over there. Uh, apparently, she was the one who figured it out. Heard some of the blue cloaks talking about it. Interesting. But yeah, ah, oh, we should probably be finishing off our lunch. Don't want to be late for training. After lunch. But yeah, I'll be seeing you as he quickly cleans up the rest of his food and waves goodbye to you. You see Vayne You see v uh, Vayne is still sort of sitting down and finishing off the rest of her food. So what are you three doing? I wanna go investigate that guy who was acting very suspicious. After all, I am a detective. I want to follow him. Join. Join Korsha. Okay, so you you two are going to follow him. Are you going to follow him after lunch, or are you guys going to go to training the re uh, the rest of your training straight after? Oh yeah, we uh, have training. Training right after. Lunch. Actually, yeah, I should probably do my training first, then afterwards inspect them. So he's probably just going to go to his training anyway. He... Okay. So, meanwhile, at the other table, Tamashi and Karate, you two are just, I presume, just sort of sitting down and talking to yourselves. When... Give me a perception check, the both of you. Boop, 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 boop. Eighteen and Oops, I uh, something. Accidentally, oh, I accidentally used my clip when we got the episode. So. <laughs> there we go. Um, box of our score is seventeen. Okay. Uh, with with those amounts, you guys sort of hear. Some of the green cloaks just sort of talking amongst yourselves. No, I, my, no, I seriously heard it. I've heard that the uh, red cloak. Uh, there's some, been some incidents outside, uh, side sort of the Navi out with the people, and appar uh, apparently the red cloaks are going to investigate the incidents. I didn't exactly hear too much about it, no, but I, it's, that's like a big deal. They're really out of this location. Even then, it's normally one or two at a time. Not all four of them. Oh, well, I, I hope it isn't going to be too bad. You know? 
Otherwise, we'll be in trouble ourselves. We're like, only barely just getting our training done. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, let's hope they can deal with it. They should be able to, they're the strongest people here. But no, apparently they're going to be out later today. And that's sort of the end of the conversation, part of the conversation you hear, tarnishing. So what was the basic information? Uh, the basic information is uh, all four of the Red Cloaks are going to be out of Navi for the evening. Apparently there's been some issues outside of the island going on, and they've been sent to investigate. All right. But yeah, eventually you can finish your lunch, and what are you two doing? We see if the others are finishing up. Uh, the other, if the others are finishing up? Uh, yeah, they've, they've already finished their food. What do we do now? Um, you remember you've still got some training after lunch to do. Oh, yeah. Before you get your free time. Where do we train? Um, um, you would presume it's where you left your mentors. We'll go back to where we left our mentors. Is everyone, mm. everyone going back to training? Yeah. Okay, you guys all head back to training and you see your mentors are already sitting there. They look like they're, they've just finished their food, their own food. Hi guys, I see you're back. Have a good lunch? Yep. That's good. But and now we're going to focus on recalling your spirit animal. Okay. I think you would have uh, noticed by now the connection between you guys. So I think Florence is probably the best to demonstrate here because he's probably the best at it out of all of us. And you see foreign sort of steps forward as you guys are all sort of seated, maybe around on the grass and a few rocks. Okay, so I believe Tarnashi and Karada and Lumi, you guys have already seen this, correct? Me recalling, maybe. Uh, calling my friend. And he sort of unrecalls the spine devil as you guys see this sort of demonic like form unfurls in front of you guys and sort of drops oh, that. the floor. Don't worry. He's quite friendly. But mm. anyway, so first off, we are going to uh, to sort of practice your recall of your spirit animals. To recall your animal, you need to imagine them sort of uh, sort of in a dormant like state. So, for each of you, you need to focus on your connection. And I want you to put that connection in sort of like a trance or like a sleep-like state. Do you guys hmm. think you can do that? We can try. Maybe. Yeah. Can Everyone make our counter checks, please. My favorite. 21. 21. It takes you a little bit of drawing in your power before... Eventually, Korsha, you feel the sort of link sort of falls into a bit of a dormant state. And uh, the rest of you can see what seems to uh, be like the very tips of wings sort of on the back of Korsha in the form of a tattoo. And Korsha, if you want, uh, want you can take, uh, take the mirror that your mentor is sort of handing to you, and you can have a look at the tattoo. Oh, interesting. Are these tattoos on my wings? Um, can these tattoos be on my wings? Sure, and you sort of show the back of your shirt, and the rest of you guys can see this sort of fire bat tattoo that sort of, its own wings are sort of spreading over Corsa's wings along his back. It looks pretty neat. Ooh. Lumi, what did you get on your arcana check? Lumi, 
what's the Omnia Arcana attack? Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, that's a six. A six? You tried to make the same connection with Olivia that Karsha did, and you're just not feeling it. It's sort of, it's always completely lively. You feel the cold, you feel it sort of rushing through your whole body, and it's incredibly hard for you to sort of focus and inactivate that. Uh, stray, uh, stray, you're just sort of sitting here as your men, uh, your men, uh, foreign sort of, after he talks to the rest, comes up to you and goes, well, I've got some things that you can start work on, uh, work on. So let's see how your running is. I want you to run over here, around, uh, to that tree over there and back, please. And I want you to focus your power into your legs. Make sure you do long strides, okay? Got that straight? Yep. Okay, give me an athletics check, please. Oh, wait, now it's back for back. On an athletic, right? Yep. Oh, I got a nine. A nine uh, and eight. And you start sort of bound erding off towards the tree as Tamashi and Karada, what did you guys get on your Arcana check? Fifteen and ten. Uh between the two of you, you you're sort of struggling to rein uh rein your spirit uh, animal in, especially because there's two of you. And it's it's real of uh, it's real bit of a struggle, but you make some sort of progress. It's the link is definitely starting to feel duller at this point in time. Oh. But you don't quite have it. <clears throat> oh well, at least one of us managed to get it done. As you see, stray, you start bounding for uh, back. Good job. We'll keep uh, we'll keep up your fitness training, but other than this, you guys are free to go for the day. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you at the mess hall tomorrow morning to pick you up for training. Tomorrow we shall be practicing a bit of merging and hopefully a bit of training powers. So you guys should be Let's able go. to cast spells and stuff. I see, Lumi, you've already figured some of it out. Yes. That sounds like a text to speech. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> that definitely sounds like text to speech for me. I don't know why. Like an AI. But yeah, at this point, you see your mentors all start to slowly begin dispersing as you guys are left to your free time. What are you guys all doing? Can I try and find that guy who was very suspicious from before? Ah, uh, sure. Give me an investigation check, please. Investigating. <laughs> Can I assist him in his sure, roll with investigation? Sure, please. Okay. Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, you, you, uh, the rest of you guys, you see Korsha and Lumi automatically quickly take off. Uh, is anyone following them? No. Eh. No. Okay. So, Tamashi, Karada, and Stray, what are you guys doing? Whilst well, these guys are going off. Hmm. What is there to do? <clears throat> Who knows? It's up to you. Wanna cause some shenanigans? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, where you guys go over to cause the, uh, shenanigans? And what, uh, what shenanigans huh. are you guys causing? I don't know, that's just my default. <laughs> My default shenanigans. What is, what's going on? All that good stuff. Shenanigans are going to be so just snooping around. Yeah, pretty much. Like, you, uh, where are you guys going? Shenanigans. Where are you guys going in the in the place? Any particular really? location? What is it? Uh, uh, you had that. Stuff. You had the records room, which is a lot. You had the library, you had all those rooms sort of down in that area. The storage room, you had the blue and green hope dormitories, you had the bath house. 
You had your own norms and you had the mess hall. I mean, the blue and green coats are there. We know the red coats are going to actually. You know the red coats are going to do your way later. Brandon, there. You Maybe. wouldn't know that, would you? You wouldn't yeah, know I'm that. Not, I'm not sure. Would we have known that? You would not would the know others that. Have to us? Yeah, oh, it was okay. only. Well, it was only me know. and me. Yeah. Anyway, oh okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I was wondering exactly who would knew that. Um. I don't know. Snoop around the cafeteria. See if we can sneak into the back. Get some snacks. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys head over yeah. to the cafeteria as you see Lumi and Karsha start sur uh, sort of going through into a different room at this point. And you guys head up to the sort of front counter. There's no sort of... No one really here in the cafeteria yet. It's nowhere near the time of dinner. Yet. No cafeteria, cafeteria lady? Uh... There's there's a couple around, but you reckon they're all just busy preparing dinner inside at the moment. Hmm. Preparing for dinner. Snacks. I don't think we'll be able to get any snacks here. Damn it. You could try. There's you don't know where Can exactly they are. Snacks? Wait, is are you here? Yeah, she just got back. Okay. Uh, we're pretty much nearly done the session, so I'm... You're just gonna be in the background. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Stray, so Time Machine Karate and Stray, what are you guys doing now? You guys think you could potentially grab some snacks if you could figure out where they are? They're in the room. Uh, give me an investigation check, please. Uh, yeah. Investigation. Investigation. <laughs> I got a 16 <laughs> to investigate. Uh, 16 to investigate. You find the sort of door that seems to go, uh, that has a sign on it. Kitchen staff only. Well, that would definitely be the place that we could get snackos. Hmm. Can I poke my head in or just to see if I can... See if I can hear anyone on the other side of the door. Uh, give me a perception check, please. I got me a 14 to perception. A 14? Uh, you hear someone, uh, someone who's walking over to potentially the uh, sort of further on in, uh, past the room. So over to your left, like far over to your left. No, uh, not near the door, per se. Hmm. But they are in that room. Risk it for the biscuit. They might be in a different room. <laughs> Risk it for the biscuit. That is actually a good time at this moment. That is really convenient. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't have anything that can get us in there. Yep. Mm. Not the door. Anyway, What's just my... break down the door. It'll be fine. No, no breaking down the door. That's too much. Well, I mean, I... Get expelled. Maybe. I mean, I do have a way for us to not get seen, but uh, that could also raise alarms. Who knows? Because, you know, it's very obvious. Well, oh. that's, that's fun right there. Go oh, can use event. It's a kitchen, there's gonna be event. That's true. Let's look for event. <laughs> uh with your sixteen from earlier, I would say you could probably find a vent over the side. On the walls. It's fairly hidden in the corner. No no they're venting. Exactly. Um, can we is it how firmly is the vent like? Does it have a grate over it, or can we just like? It's got a grate. Through? It's got a grate over it. How great is that grate? Um, you don't know. You gotta test it. Um, yeah, test the grate. Uh, give me a strength check, please. The strength. No. Why not just unscrew the bolts? 
Mm -hmm. He's testing how I got a four. A four. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's on too much, but you can't get it on. Uh, you can't just like pull it off. Mm. Got any ideas? You have a fork. I got a dagger. That will work too. Use it like a screwdriver. That was exactly my point. Great. I also got a hammer. And a crowbar. Probably go with the quieter option at the moment. Pretty sure I have a crowbar too, now that I think about it. Anyway, let's just unscrew the bolts. It shouldn't be too loud. So. Yeah, and you guys start working at unscrewing the bolts. Give me a sleight of hand check, please. Sleight of hand. I'm in the background. Can I, like, give, like, assistance? You're in the background. You're... you're not in the session, technically. <laughs> eleven. <laughs> an eleven. Uh, with an eleven, you can fairly easily unscrew the sort of screws from the plate and sort of pull down the grate. No. All right. Let's go in. Yeah, you guys start sneaking in, yeah. right? And meanwhile, Dumi and Karsha, you guys have been searching through room after room after this red clo uh, cloak until eventually you two sort of spot him at the very end of the, the sort of corridor, the one near the records room. You guys are sort of around a corner, sort of peering forward, and you can see he sort of pushes, closes the door, and lock uh sort of locks it with some sort of arcane spell hmm. and he oh. starts walking in your direction what are you guys doing um hmm. are we somewhere we're not supposed to be right now um i mean we are in the library so be fine you guys aren't and, like this corridor isn't only visited from what you heard your mentors say earlier and you guys aren't really supposed to be anywhere near it okay so this is in the library right uh this is near the library yes near the library yes same okay. building um well i'm gonna have i seen like a janitor or anything before uh yeah i would say you've seen a janitor before well, I'm gonna cast this guy's self <laughs> and turn myself into a janitor. Uh, yeah, you copy the janitor's look. And uh, Lumi, what are you doing? I uh, hide it very poorly. Uh, give me a stealth check at disadvantage, please. It's hiding behind his leg. I actually managed to roll worse than my first roll. Four. A four. How? Uh, I hide even more poorly than you, I thought. You guys see the UNT sort of goes around the corner and he's like, Sorry. Good day, Bob. Yeah, no, I'm just helping this uh, lost student find their way back to their hall. It's the first day, it's all a little big and confusing for them. Give me, give me a deception check at advantage, please, because he has no reason to not believe him. Fourteen. Fourteen. You see the Yonti just sort of looks at you with his sort of bright yellow eyes, and you can see his spirit animal is sort of partially growling. <laughs> And, and good guys. day to you, sir. And Mr. you can see the demonic skull sort of stares at you two for a moment. Well, you guys aren't supposed to be so close to the corridor. I would need... Hey, I was just here. We got to go mopping up a spill from some... What's it called? Student who was, you know, drinking too much or something. Um, and you see he casts a, a spell and suddenly you're thrust out of disguise self. <laughs> Come on, you two. Get out of here. Don't let me find you so okay. close to the record room again. Wait, is this guy a red robe? Yes, he's a red robe. Oh, shit. 
Rose. Okay. Oh. And each use you guys sort of out. And continue sort of walking down the corridor out of the building. Wasn't he lovely? <laughs> what, are you, uh, what are you two doing now? Um, I guess we can head back to where we last saw strained Mashi. Um, last time you guys saw them would be in the food room, and you guys head back there, and there's no sight of them. Anyway. Oh, well, I've probably gone back to the dorm. Okay. Investigation check. Sure. Should I do it? I've got a plus five. Sure. I, I mean, it. I guess we're both investigating to see if you can find so. Uh, 24. A 24, Korsha. And you say your bat echo sort of heads over to the kitchen and, like, he's hearing something going on. And meanwhile, Tarashi, Karada, and I'm going to unmute you now, Stray. Stray. Oh, well, you're, you're kind of screwed, Stray. You guys are busy sort of uh, heading through oh, no. the sort of vents, and you see inside this kitchen where the sort of woman from earlier is busy preparing some food, and on the other table uh, where her back is turned, you guys can see what seems to be a plate of shortbread cookies. Ooh, do, 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 do. Wait, hang on. Wait, Dan. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. I want the shortbread cookies. That's for the cards. They're delicious. <laughs> what are you guys doing Wait, to try and get, I get these cookies? How we... is, that... is there a spoon? Yeah. Throw the spoon to the other side of the kitchen. Oh, you guys are currently in the vents behind all the spoon. You can buy the way. cookies. Sort of overlook What? This. You guys are sort of in the, in the vents behind the grate as you can see these cookies. So, like, tantalizing out of reach. You have rope. Shush you. Yes. How are we going to tie the rope to the goddamn plate, huh? Easy. Uh, you make like a loop, like, like a like a suicide loop, and then you slip it, and then you like pull it. And... Said not, it? For okay. that to work, um, that would have to work within the less than a second. I and then you play a that. really crappy game of like the claws and the arm, like in the um. Speed up. Okay. That's across the room. It wouldn't work anyway. Okay, and anyway, um, we need to get some stuff done. Does anyone have a grappling hook? Uh, also, by, uh, by the way, uh, my little friend, uh, Re uh, Rezu, we do need to get some stuff done, so if you would please be quiet. Thank you. <laughs> no. So, um, is, is the grate at floor level? Uh, the grate is sort of like, at, um, like above, like, oh, sorry, the middle table. So you can so, just about get out of the grate. Like the the wall. Yeah, What's so, going on in this kitchen? Uh, you've got the sort of lunch lady who's busy preparing food. Her back is to the cookies, which are on the bench, sort of a little bit away f uh, from the grate. You guys would have to get out of the grate, go across behind her, and then grab the cookies, and then get out. But the cookies look oh. really good, and you can smell them from here. And they look like that oh, that's that's fresh baked smell. Hey. Huh? How far away from the vent are these cookies? Um, I would say maybe 12 feet. So not too far away. Feet. That's not too far. What exactly is the lunch lady actually doing at the moment? You said preparing food, but uh, what she specifically seems, She seems to be preparing a lasagna for dinner. A oh, lasagna? Ew. Okay, are there... Are there any, like... Hot sitting up. Is, is anything being cooked by an open flame? Uh, oh yeah, my there's God. a couple pots there, but it, she's doing like the, she's doing the tomato sauce at the moment. And with, where is that in relation to us and the lunch lady? Um, it's sort of like on the opposite side to the cookies. Okay, so. It, the cookies are between us and the tomato sauce. Uh, 
let me uh, let me just uh, make a click here and show you clear. Tomato sauce. I need tomato. Tomato. I'm I'm planning magic assisted shenanigans, but I need to know. So you've got here, you've got the bench over here, you got the bench over here. She is busy working at the bench, just on like the chopping board, and then you got like the kitchen stove over this direction, and then you got like two more benches along here, and then over here you can see the cookies. There's sort of like a fridge, uh, some sort of fridge over this area. This here's the bench. Which you guys are currently behind. Okay, so she's currently not looking at the cookies. Yeah, she's not looking at the cookies. What about, is there anyone else in the kitchen? Uh, no, just her. Uh, All right. have, is there, so is there a grate on that side that we have to remove first? Yeah, there's a grate here. Alright, that okay. might be a problem. We need to remove that before we can do anything else. That, uh, you got your knife handy? This lady for cooking. <laughs> no, for untying the vent or un yeah, unscrewing. Vent. I'm not committing cook cookie murder. No. Okay, but what if she hears <laughs> us? How are we going to safely get the cookies and then get back into the vent without her noticing? Okay, well, hmm. I was thinking if we can get the grate open, am I in front of you? Or is the vent wide enough that we're like sitting next to each other? Uh, I would I got... say the vent is just about wide enough for the both of you, considering you guys are really small and it's the big vent, kitchen vent. I got an idea. Okay, what's your idea? First, what is your stealth uh, modifier? My stealth modifier is plus three. Okay, you're, uh, you're going to be the one getting the cookies. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so my plan is... Uh, either me or Tamashi will get hurt uh, by the other, and they, they will pretend uh, to be in their pain. And since lunch ladies are considered uh, technically doctors or like nurses in the school, uh, they will go and help them, and then you get the cookies uh, while she's distracted. Alright, that works. But also means we have to split the cookies between more people. Mm. Yeah, you or, probably, you probably don't want to split these cookies. There's not too many to begin with. Oh, how many? Uh, there's maybe five. Not too What's many. This? Gonna be some goddamn good cookies. Hmm. They're really good. They could still be worth it. Okay, so we might... See, my thought was if we can get the grate open, I can poke my head out. We can see what's directly below us. And if there's nothing there that could make a noise, I could hop out of the vent, sneak over to the cookies, come back, hand the cookies off to you in the vent. And so you take the cookies, and then I just have to get back into the vent. And then we need to cover the... We need to um, put the grate back. Yes. That was my thought. I can, I can see Sparkle doing uh, calculations in this little live stream. <laughs> <clears throat> oh no, I'm just drawing the room better. <laughs> All right, my Making my sure. iPad died mid talking, so I did not hear the first part of that plan. Oh. I was just going to make sure if I hopped out of the vent, I didn't <laughs> land on anything to make noise. Ah, uh, there's nothing really here. There's just a bench. Mm. All right. Well, that should be safe enough. All right. So we build my plan, or do we even want to bother? Because it's only five cookies. They do well, smell nice. I will mention that. How good are they? What what's her reputation in baking? Uh you don't you guys don't uh, don't know. You guys uh new here, but your the food that you guys had earlier uh, was pretty good. Okay. So um I reckon we go for the cookies. Alright. And, and we just, you know, eat them ourselves. 
Okay, yeah. Okay, let's do it. Alright. So we're doing my plan with the injury thing. Well, your brother doesn't know how many cookies there are. So if we if we agree to give him one cookie for his part, <laughs> we each eat two cookies and we tell him there are only three cookies. Then I cast message before we went in the vent, right? I'm telling him all of this right now. Lie to him <laughs> in message. Let him think um, there's only three cookies. He he I mean he knows there's five. I told them while we, we were in the vent. God damn it. Don't underestimate us. We will We will kill everyone in the school and no one will know it was us. We're that good. We won't, but like don't be surprised if you couldn't find anyone. Well, anyway, let's get some cookies. Let's get us some cookies. Whoa. Okay, so you guys gonna try and unscrew the vent from the inside now? Yep. Yes. Okay, give me a side of hand tech, please. Ooh. And also, both yeah. of you can give me stealth checks, please. Is my uh, 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 what's it called? I forgot what it's called. My, uh, my dragon here with us. Yeah, it's probably sort of like right above you guys, sort of squishing you guys a little bit, just sort of looking at things. All right, uh, you're probably the best one that to do the stealth. So, I want my time dragon to cast guidance on him. Are you both? Uh, okay, so. Yeah, sure. You'll cast guidance. Use that to sneak across, alright. Okay. Uh, also, my, uh, my uh, stealth is awful, so... Yep, um, yeah. what did you guys roll for the side of hand to actually take off the grate? And what did you guys get for stealth? Uh, I got an 8. An 8? I would say the grates are fairly loose around here, you could probably get it off. Not too much difficulty, uh, T. And 14 on stealth. And 14 on stealth. So yeah. who, who's, getting, who's gonna get out uh, get out and go get the cookie? Oh. Um, I was gonna do that. You said I had guidance, didn't you? Yeah, uh... Should we distract the... Uh, first? Before we make our move? Uh... Isn't she technically already distracted? She's cooking. I know, but like, she'll be more distracted. Wait, where where is the opening? Double this for, like, where do they it's serve fun. food? Is it like in front uh, of the cookies? It seems or? to be like it's it's more over this direction. It's <clears> past <throat> the door. So yeah, this is just. Oh, the, room. the last room is loading. Still loading. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, so something about network issues, so I'm just going to take a word for it. Is it optimal for us to uh, uh, try and uh, distract her? You don't know. She's already distracted, technically. Mm -hmm. All right, you, you, you can do it, you can do it. All right, and I'm, I'm going to go for it then. So is it... Roll with advantage for stealth. Is that what guidance does? Um, it gives. It, it, add one d four, please. Oh, add a d four. Um. Yeah. Okay, all right. I mean, I'll roll my stealth, and then I'll roll a d four, and it'll just tell you what the results were. Stealth. There's my d four. Okay, seventeen plus four, so that's twenty one. That's actually pretty good. 21, and you sort of slink out of this very cl uh, clunky vent, down onto the, the table, and over to the cookies. And uh, you manage to get over to the plate, and she still hasn't noticed you, and you just collect all the cookies and just, like, uh, bring, uh, 
bring them back over to the va uh, vent and then clamp back up. The kitchen lady seems to still be focused in on her work. All right, we reattach the vent quietly. Yeah. Enough yep. that uh, it won't like fall off, but not enough that we'll spend the ages on that. Give me another stealth kick, please. Another? Yes, please. Uh, eleven. Eleven. And uh, yeah, you guys yeah. attack back the thing and head back through the vents. And as you guys are heading back through the vents, uh, Shooter, you feel something sort of scaly go past your hand. Something small. Oh. Can I summon a firebolt but not shoot it, just wave it in my hand for some light? Okay. Yeah, you, you summon a firebolt in here and you see by your hand there is a small gecko and it sort of licks, uh, licks its eyeball with its tongue. It's a pet! Oh fuck. Oh fuck, she knows. And you see the gecko sort of scutt uh, scuttles away back down the vent. Back into the kitchen. And what are you guys doing? And I try to bribe the gecko with a cookie. Oh, they already left. Uh, you see, you see the gecko sort of rushing past you, going to leave, and you sort of to bring out a cookie and like sort of shove it to it, and then it sort of it sort of looks towards the cookie, looks towards you two, na uh, just slightly narrows its eyes, and then it sort of sticks out its tongue, and then uh, uh, grabs the cookie, and then just sort of trots away happily. <laughs> Don't tell her. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and you guys yeah. you know, head back outside where yeah. uh, Lu uh, Lumi and Karsha, you've just been sort of chilling out here when you suddenly see Tamashi, Karada, and Stray hop out of the vent with a whole heap of cookies <laughs> with them. Yeah. Well, only four. Actually, I, yeah. You guys see, uh, see them bring out four cookies. <laughs> Yeah. What are you guys? Uh, what are you two doing? You can split uh, half a cookie between yourselves. Being very oh. confused. <laughs> why? Uh, why they're crawling around in vents? Cookies. Yep. I see that. You want half of one? You have to share it between you both. Is nothing to help. Uh, I mean, you guys did all the work. You exactly. split the cookies amongst yourselves. Me, uh, well, we will have a cookie. Okay, you guys start eating your very, very good cookies. These ones are awesome. Uh, they give you, uh, they give you a, a temporary health bonus of plus four. Oh my god, that's actually Until pretty good. the next evening. That's a good cookie. Yeah, that is pretty good. She knows her stuff. Yeah, Ooh, and what are you guys... magical cookies right there. <laughs> oh, wait, now we got... We, now, wait, did we bring the platter or did we just take all the cookies in our hands? I, I would presume you guys just took all the cookies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, you're very confused. And she, and the, she will blame the lizards because the lizards took the cookie. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, What are you guys doing right now after that cookie heist? Do we have any more schedules we need to uh, do? Like, just dinner. any more training? No more training today, just dinner. Alright. So we wait for dinner. Yep, you guys wait for dinner and uh, head to the dining hall where you guys can pick up some of the lasagna. It's out, it smells pretty nice. Oh. And you see, since it's got cheese in its tray, you can talk to the lunch lady with the gecko, uh, who's just sort of smiles at you, knowingly. Just goes, uh -oh. oh dear. Are you... Uh, you're that you're the one who's got the lactose intolerant, correct? Not me. 
Oh no, it's uh, right. me. Wow. I mean, yeah. you could have lactose yeah. intolerance. I don't know. I made this one. <laughs> I made this one without cheese for you. Thank How do you. you. Not know if you have lactose. Oh man. Who does not have um, cheese your entire life? And she sort of. I mean, it's, as you, Tamashi and Karada, start heating off, she just sort of gives you guys a wink. A wink before you guys start heating off. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. Yeah. She knows. Oh, my God. I forgot that even though the lunch lady wasn't looking, the gecko was, probably. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, and... <laughs> And you guys head off to go sit down and eat your dinner. Uh, you if find... that doesn't deserve XP for that heist, I don't know what does. Anything that you guys are sort of talking about as you see Arvard comes to sit down with you with Flame. He's looking fairly tired. Oh, oh. God. My mentor walked me through my paces and sent me on a large run. How was your day of training? <clears throat> We did an obstacle course. Wow, oh, that sounds quite fun. Maybe I'll get to do one of those soon. And apparently tomorrow we're gonna go swimming. I was covered in mud. Really? Yeah. Oh, that sounds like fun. Not You're when you have to climb a 30 foot wall after. Uh, yeah, that doesn't sound as fun. But anyway. I'm going uphill. In a metal tube. I heard our two. Uh, I heard our two groups are going to be joining up tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow morning for the swimming. That'll be exciting. What do you guys? Oh think? yeah. Can't wait for that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's. It's actually it was pretty okay. My mentors were fairly nice. What about That's you guys? Are you I had a great time. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I, I thought it would be a lot harder, but I think they're just sort of easing us into training at the moment. Is oh it, my god, I've had so long. On the first day, I don't think... I think it's gonna get harder, actually. It's gonna get so much harder. Mm -hmm. Probably. Anyway, um, I agree. the lasagna is pretty nice. Wouldn't you it agree, Korsha? Yes, I would agree. It is most fabulous. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, I'm going to go quickly off to bed. I really want to start reading this new book I found from the library earlier today. Oh, you guys should check out it. the library at some, uh, some point. I found a whole book on spells and actually great items here. Apparently Ooh. they've got like this whole smithery. I'm not sure if your mentors showed it uh, to you. They said they're not all mentors show everyone the smithery, but it's around the ba uh, back of the blue, uh, the blue, uh, blue cloaks area. Maybe you guys could craft some items. I think that's reserved for the blue cloaks. Uh, Maybe. no. So, basically, it's behind the blue cloaks area. And not oh. actually in the blue cloaks area. Anyone's free to use it. I already went and saw the master craftsmith. And I'm going to probably become an apprentice of his, try and learn a few things. But yeah. Anyway, bye! Bye. And he rushes off. What are you guys doing now? I'm assuming we uh, finished the uh, dinner. Yeah. So... Hmm. Oh, that's the library? Sure. Yeah. You guys head off towards the library. It's nearing 8pm at this point. And what uh, oh, what are the rest of you guys doing? Wait, uh, what time do we have to go to bed? Um, curfew's at 10pm. Yeah, we got two hours. Fine. Right, how much gold pieces do we have? What is that? How much gold pieces do we have? Uh, whatever you had on you to begin with. Oh, yeah. yeah, from like your uh, uh, background or something. Yeah. Yeah. 
But you guys are supposed to, to 10 p.m. is like the actual karaoke, but you guys are supposed to be in your rooms like an hour beforehand. Okay, what's the time, sorry? Uh, it's around 8 p.m. Yeah. Okay, well, I have enough time. I go to the library. Yeah. And the and library's look... sort of sprawling. It's huge. You can see this librarian sort of just sitting down reading a book, and you can see a lynx is just sort of sitting nearby, keeping an eye on you guys as you walk in. I look for a book that might have spells that could assist me with swimming. Uh, sure. Uh, give me an investigation check, please. Um, two, 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 two. Nine, uh, 20. Oh, nice. Uh, 20. Uh, you don't see anything too interesting, but you head up to the woman and her links as she's sort of sitting down reading a book. Yes? Hey, I'm looking for some books that might contain spells that can help me with swimming. Oh, you mean spell scrolls? We normally have quite quite a large select selection. Come with me. You must be a wizard, or at least an Indeed. aspiring one. And you see the link sort of jumps off to the floor, floor as she sort of shows you to the back of the library. And as she walks into this room, you can see like a whole heap of books begin flying around, sorting themselves. Spell scrolls for water. And she starts flicking through them. Hmm. Uh, from, your from your description, books are just getting misplaced by the magic and just, just getting realigned <laughs> again. Um, I find um, that hilarious. Compel jewel, create or destroy water, detect magic, Ephraim, express retreat. Could be useful. Oh. She pulls out expeditious retreat. Um, Grease, no, that wouldn't be at all useful. There's a few higher level spell scrolls here, but I presume you're looking for early level ones? Yep. Yeah. I would say the best thing here would be expeditious retreat if you want to move around pretty fast. There's not really too much else here. Most of the water sort of help, helpful ones are at higher levels. Okay. But feel I'll free to borrow this and return it back once you've finished it. She passes. Uh, she passes to you the expeditious retreat spell scroll. I don't. I have to spend fifty k. It's not fifty k. Fifty gold pieces. Does to learn it? Don't I? Yes, you do. And come to me okay. if you need any of the ink. Oh, I don't have that kind of money, so I guess I'll just keep it in the back of my mind. Okay. <laughs> and you'll place the scrolls row back if you're not going to use it. Yeah. Immediately. And uh -huh. it's it's nearing 9pm, so you two should probably start heading back. Unless, Tamashi and Karate, you guys want to quickly search for something in the library. Is that excellent? Let's see. I actually uh, want to look outside to to near the docks. Go now. Near the docks? Yep. Yeah. Mm. Who's just left? Um, that would be Matt. And oh. you you start heading through the forest to the docks, and it's getting quite late as you're heading there. But eventually, you make your way to the docks. It's pretty much pitch black out here. Oh. And anything you're doing around here? Uh, I want to look if uh, those red cloaks are there. What? What is that? Hold on. I want to see if those red cloaks are there. Uh, they seem to have already left. The boat's yeah. no longer here. And it's getting pretty dark, and meanwhile, Stray and Lumi, what are you two doing? Um, Lumi's going to probably spend the rest of the night hanging out with any of you. Yeah, and Nivea's of... like, hmm. You know, earlier, earlier today, they said the Red Cloaks shouldn't be in that place. In a place without 
you know, that purple band on my shoulder. He didn't have that purple band, Mimi. Oh. Well, that is odd. Yeah. Maybe something strange is afoot. What do you think we should do about it? I think we keep an eye out for anything else strange that's going on. And we try to investigate it. And figure, um, figure out what's going on. That's probably a good idea. Mm -hmm. Keep my eyes peeled. Yeah. Uh, do you know where Tamashin and Karada are? We didn't see them go back uh, to Stray earlier. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think we did. No, I think that they uh, would be uh, like probably nearly at the school, probably at the doors, probably because no, they the have the, the dogs long are fairly... either. Yeah, but the docks are fairly far away. I would say you're probably on, on the way back. I was going to originally have you guys at there. And Stray, what are you doing? Uh, I want to... Sorry, I've been waiting for food, so I've been a bit distracted. What are we... Uh, are it's up? nearly curfew. Yeah. So what are you doing? Um... Ouch. What is... What's his name? Ahmed? Are we are we in our dorms or are we always being sent back to our dorms? Um, it's nearly curfew, so you guys are probably back at your dorms. All right. Uh, I'm gonna ask him how his day was. What did he get up to? Fairly good. Uh, as I said, we went on a pretty large run. But yeah, other than that, my day was fairly boring. So you just did cardio? Uh, yeah. I managed to get an apprenticeship at the sort of carpenter's shop in our area. Cool. But yeah. No, we can do that. No. Uh, other than that, I'm going to bed. Yeah, same. Good night. Uh, Stray, Time Machine Karada aren't back yet. I'll be down there in a moment. <laughs> Where do you think they've gone? I think they've on the phone. Sorry, I'm... I'm gone. Okay. Yeah. And meanwhile, Tamashii and Karada, you guys are trying to make their way back when you guys... Everyone, make perception checks for me, please. Everyone? Yes, let me stray Tamashii and Karada, make perception checks, please. Um... I got a 4 and a 17. Yeah, it's about... Lumi, you probably would have gone to sleep by now because it's lights out. Same with you, Stray. Even though Tamashi and Karada are still missing. You're probably starting that shot at some point later. And... It's probably part... It's around 10 p.m. When you, guys, when you guys hear the screams. And coming from outside in the dormitories, and Tamashi and Karada, you're just you're just getting back, Come back as you hear the sort of ear splitting scream from the dormitories. What are you doing? Uh, we go to the scream. Yep, and that is where we're ending today's session. Okay, screw you, <laughs> bro. What's going on? What's going on? Ooh. So I'm probably stab someone. Well, the plot thickens very slowly. We've now got a bit more information in play. Don't we, Lumi? What's happening? You guys are free to go now. Well, 